everybody it's me DJ Crow the Game Master here um, this is a video update of my of my progress and how everything is going and etc um, if the, if you're not a fan of my work at all and you just stumble upon this video clip by accident you could go on my first video here that that actually gets to you get to know more about me about my music and creative and etc and and yeah, uh, I'm just here to post an update on my video. But if you're not know who I am and this is the first time you're seeing me, I suggest to go to the video over here on my left. And and you can know more about me. And you can come back to this video and see my updates and all that. But everybody else, hi. This is an update video and I'm going to do it in a Q&A format because it's a lot easier and, and more understandable. So watch the video and if you have any more questions well you know what to do leave a comment in the bottom on YouTube or leave a comment on my left side on Facebook thank you oh well, what's been going on well nothing much I just been doing a lot of stuff I've been working a lot I've been dealing with life Nothing major, nothing big or and all that. It's just I've been really, really busy and I haven't been posting a lot on Facebook and my other social media pages. So nothing much, nothing new, really. Just me and the Nintendo trying to work on some new music. So everything's fine, everything's okay. So don't worry about that. Well, albums. Well, I'm working on four albums right now. And the reason I'm saying I'm working on four albums is because I've been working on them on my days off back to back. And I'm finished with three. I'm just cleaning them up. And the fourth one is giving me a little trouble. And let's talk about my first album. The first album is... Yeah. I'm going to work on a crossover album basically kind of a remix slash addition of my own versions of major laser music because I'm a big fan of major laser I like the two guys who made their music and I like the character itself major laser um, so I thought it would be pretty cool to do my own remix slash annotation of, the, of their music the other two albums I'm working on are DJ Curl the game master and one and two because you know, like I said, I'm promising you guys there's going to be two more CDs and then I'm done with DJ Crow the Game Master. And it's been going around smoothly and everything. I found more chiptune plugins and stuff like that. So expect it not be so Nintendo-ish, more Nintendo and Sega-ish. So it's going to be really great. And on top of that, I'm working on a vocal artist for this one. And we're, we're still working on some stuff. To see how how it plays and how smoothly it goes and you know stuff like that and the fourth album i'm working on it big time is because it's going to be a remix slash a cover of the music i liked and that influenced me on my music career and fair warning i am going to sing but don't worry it's going to be monotone super monotone so it's not really singing it's more like depeche mode style singing so it's cool and it goes with the flow and those are my four albums I'm working on. And I hope you enjoy them when I publish, publish them out already. What's next? Well, what's next is I'm going to do some comic book tie-ins to my albums. Like the first one, Major Laser, is actually going to be a crossover comic book based on Major Laser's universe from the FX cartoon series. And my universe from my comic books that are going to be going with DJ Crow, the Game Master 1, 2, and 3. And for Major Laser, it's unofficial, so I'm not going to sell them. It's going to be freebies. Just like the CD, it's also going to be unofficial, so a freebie. And the DJ Crow, the Game Master is going to be official. And, and it's going to be like... It's going to be... Basically, it's going to be a simple... Mm, simple 1980s mid 80s to late no mid 80s early 90s tv show cartoon storytelling you know 
good guy finds the bad guy. The bad guy gets the gets like a computer disc, puts it in. The greater evil comes out, and the good guy and the bad guy have to team up to fix what they've done. And the other project to go with, actually, it goes with the comics. Is I'm re releasing the comics on a three and a half floppy disk drive. And I know a lot of people don't own a disk drive, but it would be kind of cool to have it, you know. And don't worry, there'll be the link to download the comics, and like I said, the comics are free. And on another project is I'm working on re-releasing -re -re my first CD on V on a cassette for your tape player or your Walkman and all that. And I know a lot of people don't have those still, but it'll be kind of cool to own say, hey, this guy made a cassette version of his 8-bit music. That's pretty cool. And like I said, I'm going to put the link on the paper so people can download it for free, just like the comics. And the other project is, well, it's more of a harder, more money issue-wise, but I am thinking about making a music video. And the music video, I already have it planned out. I have the storyboards done and everything. I just need volunteers and the location to be willing to film there. Especially on a Monday and a Tuesday when it's dead. I know they will let us film there on a Monday and a Tuesday. But I just need volunteers and money and that's it. And then I'll get to my music video. And those are my projects I want to I work on and focus on. Besides my, you know, my music. Social, my other social media at links. Well, I'm still going to post Facebook, Twitter, Bandcamp, and SoundCloud. Those are my still main four. But I'm going to add in Newgrounds and YouTube. Because those two, those two are really great for creativity. YouTube, more or less for filming and to be honest, to put my music video on there. But Newgrounds is a really great creative outlet for flash flash movies and flash games and music because a lot of people on Newgrounds use each other's work sometimes and I thought it would be kind of cool to post my a few tracks on there not my whole albums but a few like maybe like three songs from each album and put it up there except for the remixes stuff of course anything original will be on Newgrounds and it'll be cool like some sometimes like a person working on something on Newgrounds wants to use my music they can use it so it'll be cool because Newgrounds is creativity and YouTube is also for creativity and those are going to be the two additions to the rest of my social media outlets am I gonna play live well yes I'm going to try to see if I can play live at this convention here. Yeah, I want to try to play at MAGFest. Because MAGFest is about music and cartoons. Not cartoons, sorry. Well, that too, because it is a convention, a nerd convention. But it's mostly music and gaming put together. And I'm a big fan of music. I'm a big fan of old school gaming. Why not? I want to see if I could try to play live there next year. And not just that, I am thinking about putting a booth there too. If I can't play live, at least my music will be able to be given out for free there too. And that will be the only venue I want to play live because it, I tried other places and they didn't get me and they didn't want to bring me back. It's cool. But MAGFest is a perfect fit for me. This includes the video, my final thoughts. That's all I want to do. I just want to work on my four albums, my my projects, and anything else that goes around with my music. And after when I'm done with all my projects and my albums and everything, I think I'm gonna call this an early retirement because I'm kind of like I'm kind of burned out because of work and my other stuff I have to do on top of my music so don't worry I'll still make music for fun and I'll post it on YouTube and Facebook but everything else it's like it's gonna go a little bit slowly so 
Thank you for viewing this video and if you have any questions like I said before you can leave a comment in the below on YouTube or you can leave in a comment on my left side on Facebook or below on the comment box on your wall. So thank you for watching my video and thank you for my fans for being patient with me on my updates even if it's just a few of you and see what happens from there. I hope things change for my music and I hope I get more, you know, more exposure. Thank you and have a nice day.